In this quick tutorial video, we are going to briefly explain how to set the SF4D series light curtain from Panasonic for floating blanking windows. So on the screen here is uh, our SF4D series Panasonic light curtain demo that we actually had a group of high school students uh, put together for us recently so I thought I would have that uh, showing in the background. Um, so say you have an application where you are unspooling or spooling a metal coil that will be passing anywhere through the active area of the light curtain so you want the light curtain to ignore that coil but you would want the light curtain to detect if the operator accidentally moved their hands into the active area of the sensor. Floating blanking windows is one way to potentially solve this application. This demonstration will set the light curtain so that if three or more beams in the light curtain are blocked, the light curtain will go into a safe condition. If less than three of the light curtain channels are blocked, it will not be activated. It is important to follow all safety rules and regulations, so this tutorial is only meant to show how to set up floating windows. Okay, so we'll go ahead and open up the light curtain configurator software. And the first thing that you do, and it's always a good idea, is to read the data from the light curtain. Go ahead and click OK to continue. This will bring up the list of all of the settings that are currently in the light curtain. If I go down and go over to where the floating blanking section is, you'll see that uh, nothing's been set up in there yet. So you exit out of that and you click the blanking icon here. And the first thing you're going to do is set the number of beam axes that you want uh, to be affected by the floating windows. And then you set the minimum number of channels and the maximum number of channels. So from 0 to 2, uh, you're going to go ahead and set. Click OK. Then you're going to go over up here to the top and you're going to click right settings and right to light curtain. Again this will show you all the settings that you're about ready to put into the light curtain and here you'll see we want to uh, set the light curtain channel 1 through 16. Click OK. Go ahead and write it to the light curtain. Now once you do that, an important step here is to go ahead and restart the light curtain. The user interface on this software is really nice and it makes this very quick to do. The upper portion of the display shows the amount of received light intensity. The display is currently showing that the light can, curtain is unblocked and seeing maximum amount of light from the projector. The green indicates that the light curtain is not activated. Now I'll put an object in the beam to simulate the coil. As you can see, the object is passing through the active area of the light curtain and blocking two of the light channels at a time, and the light curtain is in an unactivated state. As soon as I reach my hand up and block another beam, the light curtain is activated and goes into a safe state. The red bars signify that the OSSD relays are activated. In future videos, we'll go over some of the other functions and features of the SF4D series light curtain from Panasonic. If you want more information, you can visit us at our website at PanasonicSensors.com. Also, please remember to give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks a lot, and take care.